So I'm gonna do the most beautiful roasted sardines with chili, herbs, fennel seeds, absolutely gorgeous. My oven's getting real hot. It's had a little time to preheat. I've got a nice big roasting tray here. I'm gonna dump my fish into here. Good olive oil just to coat the fish and stop them sticking. Then I've got some fennel seeds here, heap teaspoon, just sprinkle that in on top as well. That'll kind of fall off, but it will flavour things. Don't you worry about that. So first of all, I'll go chilli, slice it up, and I'm going to use about one chilli. Obviously, depending on how hot your chilies are that you've got, have a little taste. Throw that in. So I'm going to get four nice cloves of garlic, squash in the garlic. And then I've got me lemons, half a lemon in here. So squeeze the lemon juice over here like that. Then I need some parsley. Instead of throwing away the stalks, put them all together like this and try and finely slice the stalks up, right? And they're sweet and they're kind of grassy and, and fresh. And just a little heat tablespoon of those will be brilliant. So I'm going to get that lovely chopped parsley, put them onto here, and then give it a right good tossing up. So move it all around, salt and pepper. Really make a point of getting that parsley and shoving it in the little cavity, and it's going to make it taste so good. Cooked is when it's crispy and golden looking and lovely. They're only little fish, so they do, by the time they look good, they're ready to be eaten, you know? So that oven is pretty much on full whack. Cook that for about 10 minutes, and we should be in a good place. And another little trick to sort you out, um, get your pitters, right? They've kind of been pre-done. This is probably what most people buy. Just get some water, fan it out like a pack of cards, and then just splash them. That little tiny bit of moisture um, will help them actually puff up and become sort of crisp on the outside and fluffy in the middle. So these go straight under the grill here. The next thing I'm going to do is a beautiful salad. I've got a pan on here on a medium heat. Just going to put some flaked almonds in here. A couple of tablespoons. Beautiful. OK, so look, I've got a regular bag of pre-washed salad here, um, watercress, and rocket, really, really nice. I've got some alfalfa sprouts. I love them. I think they're beautiful. They're nutritionally incredible. I'm just going to sprinkle those over the top. I'm going to use pomegranates. Two things I'm going to do with this. First part, cut it in half, grab the pomegranate like that. I'm going to separate my fingers so there's gaps in between them. I'm going to get a spoon and spank it nice and hard, right? And this saves you the job of having to peel all those individual capsules but also, it sort of splatters. It splatters the platter and it kind of puts juice everywhere. Just grab any of these bitter yellow bits, because you don't want to eat those. They're not good. I'm just going to put this away for a second. Next thing I'm going to do, I want to make the most beautiful, refreshing dressing. We're going to go, first of all, pomegranate. I'm just literally going to crush it in my hands and try and catch any bits in my fingers, OK? Really simple. So there you go. Give it a really good squeeze like that and then just throw that away. Add visually three parts more oil than that um, pomegranate juice. A um, little bit of red, white wine vinegar, cider vinegar, just about a tablespoon. Then I'm going to add a nice pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper. I'm just going to mix that up. And then you're in a good place. So look, I've got my dressing here. I've got my salad here. I've got some nice mint here, actually. Pick some leaves. And then if I just get my nuts, just get a, a little saucer or something. These are really hot now, so I won't put them on. But basically, at the table, we'll um, put these nuts on, and they'll add another dimension to it. Really gorgeous salad. So there you go. Really, really nice. That can go at the table now. My lovely sardines. They're ready for sure. Look at them sizzling away. Absolutely gorgeous. Get me pitters. Loads of people get pitters at home, and they're just, like, so dry and horrible. Just by that little sprinkle of water, it just means you'll be able to get in there, see all that steam coming out, and it means you've got nice pitter with a nice pocket. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, sometimes they stick together and they're just a bit dry and miserable. Look at that. I mean, this is a great dinner. Look, sardines, grilled, bah, so good.